Hey guys, Eli here, and on today's video, I want to show you guys about $18,000 in gold and silver and about $23,000 in my stock portfolio. Now, you guys know every Monday I like to show you guys how my previous week was when it came to stock market and um, gold and silver, but I'm going to show you guys how the last week was for me, and we're starting now. Guys, if this is your first time here, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up, consider subscribing, and also hit that notification icon so you guys get future notifications of my future videos. And if you guys want to join the Urban Wealth Creation Discord alongside checking out some of the video equipment that I actually have, make sure you guys check down in the description below. So let's go into it. So currently, right now, as far as my gold and silver, before I go and show all those stuff, what I do want to talk about is I've been, I'm, I'm really... I'm holding on to a whole lot of cash right now. Now, I know a lot of people saying, hey, cash is going to devalue and you want to make sure you protect it. So I'm holding on to a lot of cash so I can find and take advantage of opportunities. Okay. The fact that I was able to get these great gains that I have been within the past years because I had a lot of cash before the whole pandemic happened and brought the markets down. So I was able to put deploy cash and made some great gains on that, okay? Especially with, whether it be stock market, whether it be um, gold and silver, those are the two avenues where I really took advantage of and some sometimes where I actually sold some stuff to get, uh, to get when, when I say sell some stuff, like w whether it be gold and silver, whether it be um, certain stocks that I had, I took the profit so I could allocate the, that profit and proceeds to somewhere else. And then I seen that one goes and I'm like, all right, it's time to take the profit and bring it over here. So I actually took some, sold some gold, sold some gold and silver, put into some certain stocks that I actually believe that I did my full research on. That's a message right there. I did my full research on and then I took that and then put it there and then the stock rose and then I took the profit and I saw some weakness in gold and silver and then I bought some silver with it. So I pretty much, let's say if I had five silver coins and then I sold it, bought some sauce, got the profit from that and I turned that five silver coins into 10 silver coins or 15 silver coins. So when you fast forward back to today's time frame in 2020, I'm like, hey, you know what? I'm not too sure everything's been going up. Let me just keep some cash on hand so I can take advantage of certain dips. All right. So let's go ahead and let's go into my uh, my gold and silver portfolio so far. So you guys can currently see that I actually have about 18,000, a little bit above 18,000. I do know that gold and silver went down within the past week. And I think last week when I showed you guys, this is around the same ballpark, but I actually added a little bit more silver to the stack, whether it be constitutional silver, whether it be um, um, regular, I think it was kangaroos that I actually bought. So I add that to the stack so that propped it up just a little bit so it's like I actually broke even when I really didn't. I actually recorded a video today for my members where they can actually see the amount of gold and silver that I actually have. So if you guys are interested, you guys can become a member and actually see the breakdown of this and all my other investments. I'm not too comfortable just showing exactly all the numbers right here. You know, there's some stuff I got to keep for myself as well, right? Now, if we go over to my stock portfolio, you can actually see I have about 43,000, close to 44,000. And it's been going up the past couple of weeks. I think um, two weeks ago, I showed you it was around 35,000 or so. And I haven't been putting that much money into it. I just been buying the dips anytime when I go under in any of my position. And of course, these companies I do believe in. Now, I know I am blocking the companies out because this is something I do want to keep personal but all my members on the youtube membership can actually see each individual and i go break it down step by step why i believe in this company and why am i investing in this company and i do release that every monday the same way i'm going to do with this video each and every monday so we can actually see here I, this company right here this is the company i bought like um i bought this around uh what was it i say about 12 dollars was my cost basis and this company right now is at 21 dollars and so far, I got $3,000 profit from that one. The next company have 30 shares of this one. Um, this one is sort of a break even for me, uh, meaning that it's not, it's sometimes it normally just be $200 below and sometimes it's $200 less. You guys can see I have 30 shares of that company. But this is all the positions that I have. I'm sorry, like I said before, I'm not showing the, comp the, the companies that I'm investing in 
want to keep something private to myself but i did add i did make a couple of moves on there but like i said before what i'm really waiting for is waiting for some weakness i i was hoping that well with the presidential election like with the uncertainty that's going on in the world today like we would have seen like a downward market like it was like that for the past couple of elections as far as the markets but we can actually see and it, i like to say this as well never just the, the past itself does not equal the future even though it may happen 10 times in the past doesn't mean that the 11th time is going to happen the same the same way that's the equivalent of me flipping a penny over and over and over and for it got real lucky where 10 times i hit heads the you know just by flipping it and then saying all right you know what since it's been heads the past 10 times the 11th time is going to be heads again no it's going to it could possibly be tails so i don't like even though i was just waiting for it but i still took advantage here and there and things like that but i was getting prepared for something i was preparing for the worst all right you got to expect you got to prepare you got to expect the best but prepare for the worst okay so that's pretty much all that let me see here if there's any other things i need to mention here oh i did buy one share and i'm not gonna lie this one i can i, I don't mind saying it i did buy one share of tesla um this week one share it's, to be honest with you i always wanted to have this stock i did own like about 20 shares at one point we're talking about three years ago and then as soon as i this was not when i was like fairly just tippy toeing around the um investing in stocks all right i was tippy toeing around tesla looking at tesla and then i you know bought 20 shares and this was around before the split adjustment this was around what uh 200 300 dollars range and we're talking about before the split adjustment so as soon as i got 50 dollars profit from each share so that would have been 50 times 20 i took it and i sold out all right, I took it and I sold out and I never looked back again. And I, for some reason, the reason I'm uh, disappointed at that move is because I 100 believed in the company. I 100% believed in the company. And to see where it's at now, and I'm like, you know, I, I like to, to beat myself in the head a little bit and be like, you know, if I just held my 20 shares, that two to two thousand five hundred dollars that I that I spent to invest in the shares would have been worth about anywhere around forty thousand dollars right now. So, you know, you live and you learn. I'm not really too down about it. It's just a cool story to say. But that's, right now, they, they just got added to the S&P 500. Well, they're gonna get added to the S&P 500. And I'm like, you know what? I do believe in this company for the long term. So I'll start a position. I'll just get one share so far right now. And if it goes below my dollar cost average, I'm just gonna buy more. And if it goes down to 300, I'm just gonna buy a lot. And that's just because I believe in this company. But I do want to mention, I do want to leave off this. Guys, always do your own research. Always do your own research. No matter what it, no, no matter what you see on YouTube, always do your own research. Make sure you get to the point like me. Before I invest into a company, I have to be at a point where I'm like, you know what? I need them to take my money right now. You know, that, that once until I get to that point. I don't make any investments. I, I can see Bitcoin going to from 5,000 to 6,000 to right now being at over 18,000. I can see all that, but until I uh, until my research is properly done and I'm like, mm, you know what? Ah, here, Bitcoin, I need you to take my money. Until I get to that point, no, nah, I'm not buying Bitcoin. I'm not buying any investment. And I know some of you guys maybe like on the comments below, blah, 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 whatever. Just comment down in the comments below. I read all the comments anyways. So all that, that's all I wanted to say, guys. Make sure you guys check down in the description below to take advantage of some awesome free resources. I also have a video editing course and an urban wealth creation, which is pretty much a blueprint that actually got me from point A to point B and currently going all the way to point Z. Definitely consider becoming a member of the Urban Lifestyle channel. Offer some great information that I think there's like about hundreds of exclusive videos just for members only. If you guys want to check that out, make sure you guys become a member. But that's pretty much all I have to say, guys. Thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful day.